love a mind that can marry me, that will spend the rest of his life with me through ups and downs, um, that is committed regardless of our um, differences. Alright, so for me, love means respect and commitment, faithfulness, and then you are being honest with each other. So um, love is just wide enough, broad enough to that we need to understand each other's differences, mm -hmm. um, to you know, to blend in with each other as long as that person really supports your goals in life and also um it's not about that I love that person because he gives me something. It's like, it's about the, the respect that he has for you as a woman. It's not about the person that, that can give you material things because I myself can get it. Um, I don't need a man um, for myself for that. So I can build a career for myself, I can have the money, I can have a good life. But the thing is you are looking for your life to important and that is a commitment. So it's like love a mind that can marry me, that will spend the rest of his life with me through ups and downs, um, that is committed regardless of our differences. What we will respect each other's upbringing and also if you have goals in life, we can talk about that. And then it's like you are dealing with a person that you are committed to. So that means love is not just feeling that you feel butterflies or something or giving gifts or something. It's part. Um, there are a lot of love language. We call that love language. It, there, is, there is a love language that give, um, you can give. You can do the service or just you do the physical. And then it depends on how you care for that person. In tough times, your love can be really measured through the attitude as well. Northern or southern part of Cebu, which has the nature of the beach and anything uh, parts, and then anything that deals with nature. Communication. So when you do communication, you can talk about it, and also you can share how you feel on that day because not every day you have a brighter day. So um, your partner may have a tough times in um, his job um, at a workplace that you can talk to um, every day. So it's like building commitment uh, is like doing a communication. When you don't like what he does, you have to tell him. You need to be honest to yourself because um, if you don't do that, your relationship will be going further. So it's like making a bond is like, you know, you need to know um, how is he? So the care, the genuine care that you have for each other, it's like you need to, to do communication. A man who is kind, generous, uh, responsible, and then honest, it's really important. And then he is really open-minded. For me, um, I'll be honest, I have an ex or a man and then they are really committed and then they support you um, if you have dreams and then they are not, you know, the type of person that will hinder you from going out, making friends, as long as it doesn't affect your relationship and you are being honest with each other. They are very responsible, but they plan, they really plan, like if they want to have kids, they will tell you if, you know, they really have plans and also they are very responsible they also show that in their action it's not just words or something mm -hmm. promises they, it is not an empty promises they will not tell you anything unless they are committed so it's like for them promise is really valuable so and you know they have really plans for themselves they will not rely on their parents like nowadays it's really hard to find a man that is under 25 30s that are not relying on their parents they have already living partner yet they're still living with their parents which is not i mean i don't foresee myself living that kind of life 
So, of course, um, the foreign husband, uh, like what I've said, that uh, they are very responsible. And of course, the jeans. <laughs> because, you know, it's like, I work hard for this when you yeah. woke up in the morning. It's like, they are really have a good appearance. The the most that I really attract with foreign guys is like, you cannot say love on the first time. Um, you cannot just say, when you just met a person, you cannot say, I'll be married with this person because he is good. Because uh, appearance is really the first one that will entice you. Mm -hmm. So what attracts me is really um, their eyes and then, you know, um, their skin because I have a um, different skin. But of course, I embrace what I am. If I would like to live in another country, of course, um, I have to figure out what career I can build there because I have to work on myself as well. Um, I will not rely on my husband, on my future husband. Mm -hmm. I have to build on my own. It's like the thing that I'm, I have in mind, which is to do a freelance, like a virtual assistant, which I do have an experience with that. So I can work anywhere, anytime, and um, as much as I'd love to. Children are great, but we can discuss that one with my future husband, um, how many kids are we going to have. Because um, having a kids is not just, you know, you're not raising animal. Mm -hmm. You can just let it be. You need to be responsible to take care of them, to, you know, um, have the children um, a good education. You need to have a um, savings for them to have a good future. You need to teach them, to guide them, to, so that they will be, um, you know, be, be um, a good person as well. find thousands of stunning, sincere, single women serious about finding love and the perfect man for them. Join men from all over the world as they take a trip and find their future brides. Interested? Learn more at manila-women.com If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Then click on the notice bell to get notified every time we add something new.